Hey everybody, does your patient need a second opinion for hammer, claw or mallet toes? Really what we're looking at here is if there's a failure of treatment today, so you've been doing all that you can but the patient's still not feeling better and still finding pain whilst they're walking. Um, particularly I want to see these type of patients that have got active or recurrent corns or wounds on their toes being seen sooner. Because you know, a lot of the time we do put these silicon devices or other devices in between the toes and they do help. They, they reduce those wear areas, they reduce any pressure, but they're not necessarily fixing it for the long time. So the time that that patient loses those devices, it could be one day before they're getting a, a poor outcome again. Now, if they're not having a response to your treatment after several sessions, then that's where they may be appropriate to come through. They're still finding pain or they're saying that corn's coming back, you know, really quickly, um, you know, before potentially for podiatrists, it could be before their six week visit, um, or they're just not getting any joy with that. And so that's where we want to be able to say, okay, well, there's, there's another option and it could be a minimally invasive surgical option that requires a very quick recovery. Um, and you know, that's a really good outcome for some of our patients. If they are in persistent high levels of pain, definitely uh, a second opinion is appropriate, even if it's the initial visit, because that's where we can put these things into place to make sure that that longer term um, is fixed as well as that acute session there. Now, some patients do report cosmetic concerns, whether their toes quite long, um, or you know they're, they're finding concerns that way, or with shoe fitting. Uh, and these are some of the patients that I do often see as well for second opinions. But where their deformity um, and the, 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 their concerns are, are you know, starting to, and their pain is impacting with their activities of daily living, this is where we really wanna stay on top and making sure that we're getting proactive with regards to treating these patients. Because like I say, it's a really quick recovery after some of these procedures. If the x-rays are indicating a hammer toe there, then you know there might be osteophytes, there might be rigid deformity, and um, there's concerns, then definitely let me know and we'll be able to make sure that we put the patients in the, in the right position. Um, you know, the patient may also have diabetes mellitus, peripheral neuropathy, or peripheral vascular disease in conjunction with hematose. And definitely these patients we're wanting to be very proactive for to prevent any corns, callus, wounds, um, and infection associated with these as well. But if the patient's requesting further information about surgery, they're wanting to get a, you know, more understanding of their recovery times, their costs, um, you know, what might be able to be done, then definitely uh, you know, referral for a second opinion is a really powerful option. But in the meantime, if you've liked what you've been seeing here, hit the subscribe button, have a look at some of our other videos, uh, and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers.